Hi, you're Ned Fox. I'm very excited to make this first video about Internet news and to try this modern way of communication and knowledge sharing. Today, for this tutorial, I will try to answer a recurring question that first-time news admins have. How to set up a new NNTP peer? I will show you the most common way to achieve that, which makes use of the HNNFit program. We will see together how to parameter the three configuration files in commit.com, newsfeed, and HNNFit.com. First of all, before seeing what to configure in details, I will explain the big picture of an NTP peering with Internet News. It will be useful for the rest of the explanation and understand why it is set up this way. You have a daemon named HNND for HNND daemon, usually listening on an NTP standard port 119. It waits for incoming connections made to your server. HNND needs determining if a connection is made by another server, which has articles to feed you, or a news client which just wants to read or post articles on your news server. This is the role of the incoming.com file, which defines the news servers you allow to send you articles. So if the IP of an incoming connection does not correspond to an entry in incoming.com, which is uh, an IP or a fully qualified domain name, INND will consider it as a reader and therefore it will spawn another program to handle the connection, which is an RPD. It's kind of an authentication based on IP for your incoming peers. And naturally, you can make that authentication more robust with additional authentication credentials. We'll see that later in this tutorial. So now that the peer is authorized to feed you articles, IND receives articles and treats them. It does a few checks, uh, spam filtering, it ensures the article is not too old, and other few sanity checks of that kind. If IND accepts the article, it uh, writes it to disk, generate overview information, updates the active file, it is to read database, uh, but well, the, that's not the subject of this tutorial, and uh, we'll probably see that in uh, other videos. And now begins the interesting part. What INND does of the articles it has stored to disk? The response is in the newsfeed configuration file, which defines all the transmission rules for such articles. As usual with INN, there are several ways to achieve a similar goal, uh, like using INN feed, INN XMIT, an NTP send or like, or even set up a UUCP feed. Uh, the most efficient and common way to set up an NTP feed, which is uh, the object of this tutorial, is using INN feed. So we'll focus on it. Uh, in fact, you could use any kind of program, even one you would have written yourself. You could even use several programs and not the same for all your feeds. So a mix of, uh, of INN feed and NNTP sent, if you like. INND just writes to a batch file or runs an external program and provides the information needed to retrieve the articles to send, like their message ID and to which peers. So high-end feed uh, knows what to do with the information INND provides him. INND does not send articles to remote peers itself. So we will just tell INND to use INN feed and configure that in newsfeed. This way, INND knows what to do with incoming articles it has accepted. It just sends them to high-end feed. And now the actual job of sending the articles to your peers will be realized by high-end feed. It is configured in high-end feed.conf, 
This file basically contains a list of your peers with information about how to connect them. So you now see the big pictures of peering from incoming feeds to outgoing feeds. Of course, they are, they are often the same. It's pretty rare that you only do it one way only. Uh, usually you both receive and send articles with a peer. You receive with IND and you send with IND feed. So let's now see in details how to set up these configuration files. I'll do a live demonstration. I think it will be more interesting than only theory that you can already find on online documentation on the internet. The version I'm using for this video is uh, INN 2.7.0, as we can see uh, running INN Conval version. If anything changes in future release, in how the configuration of an NNTP peer works, I'll just make a new video or update the description below this video to mention the changes. So let's have a look at the first config file, which is incoming.conf. This file parameters from who HNND accepts NNTP feed. So here is uh, the file I'm, I'm using. Uh, it's pretty simple. It consists of uh, peer entries uh, like this, which defines all the incoming connections. Uh, the first one is uh, localhost, so that uh, connection from my own new server as considered as uh, directly as uh, a peer and follow the other new server I'm currently peering with. Uh, the syntax is uh, simple. It's a keyword peer follows with a label. Uh, it's a label for the peer, uh, which is used for in log entries and uh, in daily use net reports. So you can put whatever you, you want here. And the body of the peer entry uh, contains uh, its name, which uh, defines the fully qualified domain name of uh, the peer. Uh, you can define several uh, domain names, for instance, like this. You can add IPs. Uh, everything is uh, separated with uh, a comma. Everything that is not in a peer entry uh, is considered as global values, which apply to all peers that do not have themselves a specific value. So for instance, if uh, I had a max connection to an entry, it uh, means that localhost only accepts three connections uh, maximum in parallel. The default is uh, there is no limit uh, of the number of connections allowed for each remote peer. Another useful parameter is uh, password. So for instance, if I want uh, this feed to authenticate, uh, I will just put a password value uh, and uh, this peer, in order to be able to feed me articles, uh, will have to provide this password uh, before sending articles. And also, uh, we can add a patterns entry, uh, which is a list of news groups to accept from this peer. The default is accept all the groups uh, with an asterisk like this. But if uh, for a reason or another, I don't want him to send me articles which are posted to only one group affair.test, I put this uh, comma, exclamation mark, and the name of the news group. And if I don't want uh, any article from 
this feed that is posted or cross posted to wafer.test, I just put uh, the hat sign uh, which defines what we call in INN uh, poison news group. So usually you do not need parametric patterns as uh, the remote peer has configured itself the list of news groups uh, it sends you but uh, you may want to also restrict this further and any article matching that patterns will be accepted otherwise they will be rejected so when you have done the changes you want uh, just close the file uh, i won't save it myself but you you should uh, on your server and there, uh, do not forget to reload this file. So it's done with the ctl inmd command, which instructs inmd uh, to reload the incoming .conf file. So the command is uh, looks like that. Uh, new peer uh, at the end is a reason for the reload. Uh, it will appear in your log files when, when the command is executed. So, okay, uh, how the peers parameter in the file will be seen now as uh, peers uh, when connecting to the new server. So now let's see news feeds. Well, that's probably one of the most complex configuration files in the whole INN ecosystem. But don't worry, for now we only have to parameter a usual feed uh, with INN feed, which in fact is pretty easy to do. Uh, just follow well the, the syntax. I will show you uh, my own news feed entry, uh, or rather uh, a strip version of my file where I have removed the names and contact information of the news administrators I am peering with uh, to respect their privacy. Uh, I personally find it convenient to, to put this information in that file in commented lines. Apart from that, this file is exactly the same as the news feeds file I am using. So this file uh, parameters what INMD does with accepted articles. So what it does, we'll show that. So first of all in this file uh, I like to put variables uh, that I will reuse later in the file. It's the news groups I carry in my new server and you can note notably uh, local variables, uh, which contains local news groups. So here uh, there is a poison sign. Uh, Trigo Facil is uh, a local hierarchy. I do not want to feed. And also it's best practice uh, not to feed uh, control news groups, uh, the, the one named control and all subgroups in the control hierarchy. So a uh, typical newsfeed entry is made of uh, four fields separated with a colon. So here, a first colon, a second, and a third. Uh, the first entry is made of a site name uh, which is used as uh, a label in log entries and daily usenet reports, as we saw for incoming.conf. If this name appears in the path header field body of the incoming article, uh, then the news feed entry will not apply to this article. So this is used as a way uh, to optimize uh, the propagation of articles to peers which already have it as they appear in the pass header article. Uh, here is an example of a pass header article. It shows all the new servers the article has been propagated through. Uh, we see uh, that it was posted on the new server which advertises uh, path one and then 
uh, goes to path two, which is uh, the new server from which my whole new server received the, the article. So path two and path one are what uh, I call here the, the exclude path that can be additionally added because it's not necessary to re add the site name in the exclude path. It's uh, already taken into account. The second field is uh, a news groups pattern. Every article that matches this pattern will be fed to the fourth flag. If an article matches this pattern, uh, then the, the entry is uh, executed by INMD. Uh, and you can notice the addition of local at the end of the pattern. Uh, so that to mention um, that these local groups and special control news groups uh, should not be taken into the, the list of news groups uh, for the peer. The first flag means it's a funnel feed, so it's a special feed for INT feed exclamation mark, and all the feeds are listed in the news feeds pattern. So here there is eternal September, uh, another one with an addition uh, in the first flag, meaning that uh, only articles uh, whose size is inferior to this number of bytes uh, will be fed to this pair. Uh, another one. And uh, finally, the, we have to configure the INN feed funnel entry. So there is an exclamation mark uh, because of uh, the very nature of the passenger field. As I said, if uh, this name is found in the passenger field of an article, the entry does not match and uh, has uh, Exclamation marks are the delimiter used in the passenger field. Such an entry containing one cannot appear in a passenger field, so cannot be ignored uh, during the parsing of the newsfeeds file. This entry is special. It's a channel field, C, and uh, it means that INND will spawn the INND feed program and provide him with uh, information. Uh, and this information are specified uh, with that. So head means ID will provide the storage IP token of the article. Hem the message ID. So this information will permit ID feed retrieving the article. So that he can send it to uh, to the remote peer. And the asterisk here means that uh, all the site names here for which the, uh, the entry matches will be given as uh, arguments to, to IN and feed. Afterwards, you just save the file and have to reload the configuration. Uh, of the news files. So it's done the same way that has been done for incoming.com. And uh, here it is. I may make one video later on other specific features of news feeds. As you've seen, it's a pretty complex file and very powerful too. Or even several videos. Uh, one may not be enough to cover all the possibilities uh, this file offers. It is somehow the Swiss knife of all sorts of things in can do uh, with uh, incoming accepted articles. And now the last file to configure is inmfeed.conf. So we'll have a look into it. Uh, this file parameters to whom inmfeed sends an NTP feed. So it's also a rather basic file like incoming.conf. Uh, with a similar architecture, uh, we have uh, several entries. 
uh, peer label for, for log entries and the daily Usenet reports. Uh, an IP name parameter where you put the fully qualified domain name uh, to use. Uh, and another useful parameter to use is port number because some news servers do not use uh, the standard NTP port, but another one dedicated to transit. You may want to configure global values or specific values uh, dedicated to a peer entry uh, for initial connections, uh, uh, which is the number of connections uh, INN feed opens when it is started. In this way, it's already ready to send an article as soon as it receives it, instead of having to connect to the server and, and then propose uh, hit the, the article. And max connections is the maximum number of connections to run in parallel. It corresponds to the setting we saw earlier in incoming.conf to, to define of many connections INND accepts from a given peer at the same time. Also debug level and debug shrinking, uh, which uh, permit enabling INN feed logging. Uh, we'll have uh, a log file generated by INN feed to, uh, to investigate uh, possible errors. And uh, debug shrinking permits truncating the file when its size reaches a certain limit, uh, defined by backlog limit. Here the, the value is uh, 20 megabytes. If you have a web server installed on your know, server, then it's possible to, to generate HTML uh, status for island feed by putting true here and the file uh, will be present in, in your HTTP directory uh, as set in inn.conf. And here you can also configure credentials uh, for feed uh, to connect to your outgoing peers. Uh, you specify a username uh, and a password. So uh, previously in um, in incoming.conf we showed that uh, a password could be specified and this is exactly the, the parameter we, we do for outgoing feeds. I probably uh, make a video to, to show you how that works uh, with live and NTP commands and see the impact of configuration on them, how the hot info and NTP command behaves and is handled by, by both INN feed and INND. Uh, for instance, uh, INND does not make use of uh, a username, it, it just discards it, so, so you can put uh, whatever you want uh, in this field. But other new server than an INN may uh, use it. So this is the reason why username is possible to be configured in INNFeed.conf. So now you uh, save your changes uh, and you reload the uh, INNFeed.conf file. So there are two ways. I'm usually running the following command myself because it's, uh, it's the most easy. Uh, I will explain wh what it does. Uh, you can also send a sighub command to Winefit, but it's more complicated to, to do because you need to find the PID of Winefit and then send it's uh, the write up signal uh, this way, and uh, INN feed uh, just reloads its uh, configuration file. Uh, it's uh, easier to, to do the, the flashing. So, why it is done? It's uh, because, as you saw in, in the new seeds file, INN feed is used by INND. Uh, the the INN feed program reads this configuration on, on startup, and then if we want to restart uh, INN feed, we need to ask IND to, to run a special action on the channel feed configured in news feeds for INN feed. 
He, this action is what we call a flush, and so we just flush the hidden feed channel feed, and HindMD closed the pipe he had opened to the standard input of HindMD feed. So uh, HindMD feed then thins that flush and will just finish transferring the articles it has in its queue and, uh, and exits. Uh, and in parallel, HindMD spawns a new HindMD feed process. Uh, which will use uh, the new configuration file. And the last note I put in the slide is that uh, ideally configuring a peer sh should be done in coordination with the remote news administrator. Uh, first, the two news servers accept incoming connections from each other, uh, which is tantamount to saying that only the incoming.com file is configured. And once uh, it is done at both sides, uh, feeding articles can be configured. Uh, newsfeeds and infeed.conf, and this way the feed is accepted immediately. Otherwise, if the remote news server still does not accept articles from you when you begin feeding articles, your feed connection will be considered as a reader and not work the way it should. Uh, you may have spurious logs mentioning that, and feed will backlog the articles for future retransmission. Uh, anyway, it does not matter much in practice. When your feed has been recognized, uh, the remote server will straightfully refuse all the articles he had already obtained from its uh, other feeds. In this situation, the whole articles are not transmitted by your island feed, but only message IDs. So the bandwidth will not be used much and the refusals uh, will come quickly. So don't worry, you, you can go ahead and set up everything in a row. I was just mentioning that to better explain how feeding works. In real life, new servers can be off a few minutes or hours during maintenance periods, and they will receive from their peers the article injected into Usenet during their maintenance periods, as soon as the new service is restarted. Each article will be transmitted integrally by only one of the peers, all the others will only send the message ID of this article and the new server will then respond uh, he either has the article or the message ID has already been proposed by another of its feeds. So let's see a concrete, complete example. Uh, in real life, the news administrator will provide information like the following ones. Uh, these are all taken from the heehohe.org website and contain all the information we need to set up peering with it. So we have uh, the path entry, which appears in the path header field of uh, every article that went through the heehohe news server during the propagation of uh, the articles on this night. Accept is the domain name uh, from which the articles will come and so should be accepted by your new server. Uh, receive is uh, where you should feed the articles. Uh, this feed uh, only wants articles whose size is inferior to 32 kilobytes. And one novelty here is the notion of binaries. If you do not carry news groups with binary contents, or you are already filtering them, you just don't mind. But if that is not the case, uh, as we'll see just after, you should like the remote news admin, the preferred pattern to use to exclude binaries from the feed. So to configure such a feed, you just have to mention the accept entry in your incoming.com. In your feeds, you parameter the binaries to exclude. You put the path to feed everything except the binaries, except the local news groups, and only if the articles are below 32 kilobytes in size. And last, the identfeed.conf configuration, where you put the, the receive entry. And of course, you do not forget to reload the configuration files. And I also would like to mention another possibility of configuration, more concise, which has a few limitations. Of. Uh, let's take the same example as before. For the incoming.conf, you put directly the accept entry 
without using the first name parameter. A news feed uses directly the receive entry as the label of the site, and high end feed is started with the Y flag, which means that dynamic peer binding is used. Nothing is present in the islandfeed.conf file because it will use directly the, the label mentioned in the newsfeed entry. Uh, it's a, not a syntax that I'm using personally uh, because I prefer to put information in the right meaningful parameters uh, instead of using label names for that purpose. And the limitations are that your outgoing peers will all inherit the default global configuration. So, so if you need a specific configuration for one of them, like a different port, uh, as we see for eternal September, you, you will have to explicitly parameter it in, in infeed.conf, uh, which may be confusing uh, to have some peers listed in the file and some other not with dynamic peer binding. Uh, you should also be aware of the fact that if no peer is configured at all in inenfeed.conf, the first article to send to a peer will actually not be sent at all. Uh, it's a known bug in a configuration uh, that uh, uses exclusively dynamic peer binding. So I, I recommend to not to use uh, such a, a confused configuration. And finally, we'll see a few useful checks that should be done to be before contacting the remote page admin uh, to ask him whether the feed works. Uh, let's make sure everything has been correctly set uh, on your side. So first of all, uh, we'll look into uh, the log files. Uh, so news create and news hair, especially. Uh, so we see that they are empty. So that's pretty fine. We also have a look into the directory of Einfeed here, and we check the presence of lock and output file for all the feeds we have configured in the news feeds file. And note that it is normal to have a, an INN feed drop file. Uh, it's always created and uh, it will contain uh, what IND asks INN feed to propagate, but it did not understand. And here we see that uh, it's uh, an empty file. Let's have a look at status file, uh, my HTTP directory is here. I've set up the HTML generation. Uh, as for INND, uh, the status file is here, and you just have to check that uh, your peer, uh, incoming peers are correctly listed and seem to function like uh, this peer offered me uh, an article which I refused uh, and this other peer offered me uh, 66 articles and I accepted 14 and refused uh, 52 because uh, another peer probably uh, has already sent them to me. And the INN feed status file for outgoing feeds and you just check that uh, the feed uh, it like, uh, like this, uh, this feed, uh, my new server offered it four articles and uh, it accepted uh, three articles. And that's it. So um, normally everything works fine. And, and now, uh, so you, you may also ensure that uh, you do not have firewall configuration to, to update. IP tables or like to, to accept uh, incoming connections, especially. And, and after that, uh, you can ask your remote peer uh, to confirm it also works uh, at his side. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it more interactive than manual pages. And also that you learned a few things and tricks and that you now know how to set up a new peer or modify an 
the existing configuration. You will find under the video useful links to read for further information uh, about INN in general. If you have any question uh, about how to set up a field, do not hesitate to ask in the new software and NTP news group or INN workers mailing list. How even why not in directly in the comments below. In case you are looking for a peer, there is a dedicated news group for that. News admin peering. Just ask there and I bet news admin will gracefully provide you with a feed for your home your server. So thanks again for watching and see you in other video.